This fall, all library, recreation, and culture program registrations will be done online through Active Mississauga. If you've ever signed up for a recreation course, you might already have an account. In this video, we'll be going over a few things you need to know, including how to create an account, browsing and searching, registering for a program or reserving a spot in a class, and how to withdraw from a program if you're unable to attend. First, visit activemississauga.ca. On the main page, click My Account. Now click New User. Go ahead and fill in all the fields with an asterisk. You could make an account for a single person, or if you wish to add an additional family member onto your account, simply click Add Another Person to this account. Just be sure to indicate who is the main contact. Now click Create New. This is important. Although your account has been successfully created, you still need to register for a program or your account information will be removed and you'll have to create your account again. Click OK to confirm. Now let's take a look at browsing and searching for programs and activities. For this example, we'll take a look at some library programs. The same process will also work for recreation and culture programs. On the main page, go ahead and click Drop in and register. Here, you can browse through different categories of programming, like Maker Mississauga or Books and Reading. Click on a header to see all the programming belonging to that category. You can also search for different programs. You'll find the search panel on the right side of the screen. You can search by program name or by the program barcode. You can then filter your search by age, day, type, location, or season. Once you've found a program you like, go ahead and click Register. Now click Add. Select which family member on your account will be signing up for the program. If you want to add another family member to this registration, click Add Client. Otherwise, click Go to checkout. Now, complete transaction. At this point, you may be asked additional questions to qualify for the program you're signing up for. If not, you will see this message indicating that your transaction is complete. You will also receive a confirmation email to your inbox with the details of your registration. For programs where payment is required, you can pay online with a credit card or when facilities are ready to reopen, you can pay in person with cash, debit, or credit. Sign up and payment, however, are to be done at the same time. Now we'll show you how to reserve your spot for a drop-in program. On the main page, click Drop-in and Register on the top left. Go ahead and search for a drop-in program of interest. In our example here, You'll see all wait room reservations available for the week. Go ahead and select your desired time slot and location. You will notice in the class description that there is no fee. Drop-in fees for reservations in the wait room or other drop-in classes can only be paid for at the community center. If you are an existing member, you will be able to scan your membership card at the community center when you arrive. The next few steps will be similar to registering for a program. Click register. Now click Add. Select which family member on your account will be signing up for the program. Now click Go to Checkout. Now, Complete Transaction. You may be asked qualifying questions. If not, you'll receive a message indicating that your reservation is complete. On the day of your class, Please arrive 15 minutes early in order to pay for your program or scan your membership card at the customer service desk. Drop-in classes must be paid for in person at the community center if you are not a member. Membership holders can scan their membership pass upon arrival. If you are no longer able to attend a program you have registered for, you can withdraw. Simply click on My Account, click on Manage Account, Identify the program you are unable to attend and click Withdraw. 
This concludes our video on signing up for programs on Active Mississauga. If you have any other questions, please email recreation, library, or culture at their respective email addresses.